Alright, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and today we're going to be doing a testing and overview of the Siemens MS-10B dual action, what used to be Intelligent Pole Station. That's why it's no longer the MSI, it's just the MS. I did, um, say so I guess we'll start with the overview of the front. This is the front, um, you get your push, you get your pull down, there's where you put in your tool to open up the pole station to either reset it or test it. On the back, there used to be a circuit board and these terminals on it, but I took the terminals out of the circuit board and just put it up directly onto the switch, so that way uh, it can be hooked up onto my conventional panel. So to actually pull this alarm, all you have to do is push, like it, and pull. Oops, didn't lock. This one's my bad one. There it is, push and pull. So there, is, there it is, pulled. This is what it looks like in its activated state. To reset it, all you have to do is take your Allen wrench. I have um, an Allen wrench bit. My tool, let's see if I can do this one-handed. This is my first time using this new board that I built, and so far, I'm not sure how I feel about it. So we will open it up. So once the screw is undone, it will open and spring back up. And all you have to do is close it back up. And then to test it, you just undo that screw, and then it will open up a little bit, allowing the button to open up. And then a test. So I'm going to hook this up over at my desk test area because I don't want you to see the alarms yet for the next wall test because I have those up. It's kind of a cool wall test, at least I think in my opinion. Uh, so we will head over there and we'll go do that. Let's go. Okay, so we got the alarm up here. Silent Night 5235 Nunciator, Gentex Commander 2 Remote Strobe, and then you'll be hearing the alarms over there at the panel. So let's actually pull this. If you notice, the enunciator, I used to have that zone set as desk pole. It is now auxiliary poles, plural. I'm setting up a, a new little uh, pole station system, so expect that soon. So to reset this, you're going to put your tool in. You're just going to open it up. Spring back, and then all you gotta do is close it back up and reset the panel. Tighten this up. So once the panel's reset, I'll show you how to tool test it. Um, this is a pretty good pole station. Mine, I did have to put some WD-40 in both of them because uh, the pull down part was being a little sticky. Everything on this is all kind of wonky and crooked like doesn't really seem like it was made the best way but who knows if it's just my lot if it was like from the building or whatever I got two of these so now the panel's booted up we'll actually put the tool in we'll open it up initiate a test without actually having to pull the pull station Alright, so that has been my testing and overview of the Siemens uh, MS-10B dual action pole station. I hope you guys like it. This is a new addition to my collection. I got two of these. So, thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.